But the other two are, are certainly interesting. <laughs> and there are very nice views out over the valley from all three. They're very popular as you're about to see. Just put a few cars, huh? Oh yeah. That's where you park for the middle one. Down here is where you park for the one wheel. How many times have you climbed this mountain? Oh, I've been over here. I don't know. Yeah, a dozen times or more over the years. And done all three of the peaks. This is handicap one. Oh, in that case, I guess I better not do it. Mm. Even despite my. Yes. Oh. With a sign that says $140 fine. Oh, oh gosh. That's mm -hmm. not that. There went your hammock. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then some. And then some. <laughs> How do you employ you get the hammock? The hammock was a better buy. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Bad decision. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So Thank you guys for joining me here in Think Museums. I'm out here in Thunderbird Park uh, in Arrowhead Ranch here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm just hiking over these mountains, trying to have some fun. So I'll be up there. But this is beautiful. Um, the, behind me there, that's the neighborhood called the Arrowhead Ranch. It's a mountain up there. So that's how it looks like but yeah so if this is your first time on this channel please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss on any of my actions so we are up here in arrowhead ranch and this is thunderbird pack The, the views get better as you get higher. And if we stay on this route, we're not going to get a whole lot better. I think, I think we want to know how you're doing. Yeah, oh, that's probably the best thing. I'm fine. I'll skip the, you know, if you elect to go up here, I'll be slow. Be forward. And when we get to the second choice, I will choose not to continue on up here. That was the easy So, the best views will be from the very top, of course. It is an easy day, so you know you're not going to see much see, anyway. Well, see as much as you might otherwise. I think I think that must be the white tanks over there, and I assume the Australias are the ones directly in front of me. But you don't see much of downtown Phoenix, for example. Yeah. But it's way too hazy. Yeah. 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 So you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, which one? Uh, take this one or that one? Well, we can go up slowly. Sure. But not all the way up. Well, if anybody wants to go all the way up, there's no reason not to. Yeah. I would concur with that. That's what I would have said. In that case, we know where to go. Mm -hmm. As long as you feel like you can do it. Oh, sure. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll have to move forward. Hmm. Uh, the Thunderbird okay. Park. And we are negotiating of which route to take to go up the mountains. Uh, it looks like we're going to use the easier route to go up the mountain, uh, or the hill in that case. And we're going to try and see Phoenix from the top of that hill. Oh, bicycle! So, 
So I'm gonna be going up. Oh, it's a little hill up there. No, this side. That's where we're gonna be going to. So, I'm in a kind of bed pack and just did some hiking with family and it's pretty fun because uh, we're in this area called Arrowhead Ranch it's a few blocks away from my house and I'm gonna show you how Arrowhead Ranch looks like you can you can see over to the left. Yeah. Just a little bit of water. Yeah. Ah. You see it there? Oh, here? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. This community uh -huh. and the one across the street from it yeah. have an internal system of like canals. Oh, wow. And people who live in houses in these communities, which abut the water, often will have little docks. Yeah. And little boats, uh -huh. uh, essentially at the end of their yard. And so they can just take their boat along this internal closed water system. Mm -hmm. You see it better from the other mountain than you do from this, but we'll get a better view as we go along. Yeah. Oh, okay, John, would that be like, let's say, that place across from Bobby's? They had the water because it's kind of like that. I think so. This is called Arrowhead Ranch, and it's a very big development of upscale houses, obviously. Yes. But that water system is part of its allure, I guess. There's a go you can see there's a golf course through it, of course. Mm -hmm. This is Arizona. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's interesting. And there's several. Um developments like this that have that water yes there's i think there's one on the other side of one of these mountains a little further yeah there may well be it's just that this one you can look down on especially from from the hill over there okay. uh -huh. and and it's really quite an extensive water yeah. system it's awesome what kind of uh, cactus is this john isn't that the barrel cactus oh there's a barrel so-called barrel wow there seem to be a lot of them here. Yes, absolutely. Barrel cactus. As the barrels grow a bit older, yeah. they do as the one right here has done. Yeah. Which is the, the body almost rises up out of the ground. Ah. So it's attached only by a relatively small connection. Okay. You know, this to our eyes looks like it's well rooted. Mm -hmm. And then when it reaches that stage, it begins to do what that one is doing, which is to progressively lean toward the sun. Yeah. And eventually, they reach a point where their angle is such yeah. that the root simply breaks. Oh, wow. And the cactus simply falls. Did a hike at the Thunderbird Park, and now we're trying to go out and get something to eat. So we'll see how this goes. But this was fun. Uh, that's why we're there, Jennifer. Yeah. So everybody's hungry right now after this hike. We did three miles, which was awesome. And we'll go out there uh, to one of the restaurants and 
get something to eat. <laughs> 